today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery on your Mercedes-Benz GLK 350. Find the hood latch on the driver's side kick panel. It's red handle. The hood latch is right in front here. Lift that up. Battery is located beneath this blower box. So you'll have to remove it. Start by releasing these spring clips. There's three of them, one here, one in the middle, and one to your right. Just release them with your fingers and slide them back towards the firewall. This middle one is a little different. You lift it up and you swing it towards you. And the rightmost one, just swing that one towards the firewall. Grab this box and pull it out. And there's your battery. Disconnect the battery by first disconnecting the negative cable with a 10 millimeter. You don't have to completely remove that nut, just loosen it enough to where you can pull the terminal up. Sometimes you have to get a pry tool in here just to help it along. This looks like an original battery. So it's been in here for seven years now. Remove this cover from the positive terminal and detach that with the 10 millimeter. The reason why you disconnect the negative terminal first is because if you're unwrenching the positive cable and your wrench happens to swing and make contact with a ground point, you're gonna get a nice lovely spark. Pry tool, help it up. And just swing that out of the way somewhere. Now disconnect this hydrogen breather tube. Just pulls out of the battery like that. Take a 13 millimeter socket and a rather long extension and remove those two battery hold down bolts. Now remove the battery hold down plate. Battery has two handles. Lift those up. Just grab the battery and pull it out. Take a minute to make sure your new battery is the correct size and the correct polarity. Positive and negative terminal need to be on the same side in this orientation. Make sure you switch over this vent tube plug because the new battery doesn't come with it. Just got to kind of pry it out of there. Like that. And just insert it into the new battery. And then just grab hold of the new battery and lower it in. Make sure it's sitting properly in the battery tray. Take the battery hold down plate. You'll notice it has a kind of a lip. This end faces the battery. Just drop it in. Line it up, and then start the bolts by hand. Leave that bolt loose until you get the other one started. Just take the extension, run them down, finger tight. Give the battery a shake to make sure it's seated, and then torque them down with the ratchet. Take this hydrogen breather tube and plug it into the hole in the new battery. It's hard to see, you just kind of kind of find it with your fingers. Just kind of press that in, wiggle it, push it, there. There you go. 
Now reconnect the battery. Start with the positive terminal. Shoots. Fully seated. Tighten the nut. Now do the negative cable. Place protective cover back over the positive cable. Now reinstall this air box. You'll notice it has these four little tabs on the bottom and those have to pile it into these slots before you can engage the clips. Make sure both those spring clips are swung out of the way. Take the air box, just insert it like this. Find those tabs, just like that. Start with the middle tab, just push it until it clicks. And then both of the side tabs. And you're done. Battery's complete. Make sure everything starts up all right. Perfect. If this video helped you, please consider supporting the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing. Thanks for watching.